Hey all, after the recent announcement of Daytona being repurposed from running code for humans to running code for AI agents, I'm super excited to announce that it's finally generally available and anyone that wants to sign up can use Daytona today. At its foundation, Daytona delivers on five key capabilities that make it the unique provider for compute for AI agents. And that is speed, first and foremost, 90 milliseconds or under 90 milliseconds if you are spinning up sandboxes in the same region as where they are running. Two is native Docker support. So basically, if you have any Docker container that your developers have been using for Daytona, you can just upload that up and your agent can continue using that same Docker container. Nothing specific for Daytona is needed. Everything that you use historically is now automatically usable inside Daytona as well. Three is multi-region support. So we have five regions now across the globe where you can run Daytona sandboxes because latency is really, really important. And we want to be available where our users or specifically where our agents are. Stateful. Daytona was created stateful first. So that what does that mean? That means that basically you can run a sandbox as an ephemeral sandbox. So run it for a few seconds or for a few minutes or you can run it for days or weeks or years. It's up to you or your agent how long you want these sandboxes to run. So you can use it the way you want for the use case that you have. And lastly, it's agent native. And what does that mean? Well, obviously there's API endpoints for the state of the machine. You want to turn it on, you want to turn it off, pause it, resume it, whatever. But also inside of each of these sandboxes, there's a bunch of tools that have API endpoints for them. So you can think of like file operations, Git operations, sending commands, code, LSP server. So everything that your agent needs to run code, there is an API endpoint inside of that. So your agent doesn't have to waste time working around human interfaces. And it's super easy to get started. There's SDKs for Python and for TypeScript. Obviously inside the sandboxes, you can run whatever you want because it's a full machine. And all you need to do is get an account. So you can either go to Daytona.io and sign up today. Um, you can get up to $200 of credits right out of the box. And there, Daytona is also open source. So if you want to hop over to your GitHub repository, you know, download that and run it somewhere on your own, you're very perfectly welcome to do that. So thank you so much and hope to see or looking forward to see what you'll do with Daytona soon.